Hi guys, um, my name is Courtney and today I'm going to do a rubber band case video. So today's theme is what's in my case and I have three of them. And that green one right there is a case. So yeah, so let's get started. This is the rainbow loom and it looks like this and it's pretty um, narrow like if I was just wanted to pull one of the pieces off it wouldn't break. It also has its hook, but lots of people have had their hook break. I have two looms, and the reason why is because my hook broke. So we thought we'd get another hook, but they don't sell, like, just indivisible, indivisible hooks. So we just had to buy another loom. But I really don't use both, but I guess it could come in use. This is my first messy case. I honestly do not use this case much, but until I got that case. So let's see what's inside. It's pretty messy and it doesn't have a lot of rubber bands compared to that one. I have red, neon orange, a mixture of yellow and neon green, neon green, ocean blue, violet, mixed, white, some just random rubber bands, <laughs> navy blue, poker chip, or striped or polka dot, metallic, fuchsia, Black, pink, and mixed again. So this is what I have in here, and then I have some white left over. And then it says my name on the case. C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y. This is my nickname, Coco. This is what's in this case. The lid came off, so I thought I'd use a paper. <laughs> um, I have silver gray, purple, navy blue, neon green, glitter, grass green, orange, mixed, orange, broken rubber bands, because I like to keep them, and um, my C-clips and S-clips, orange, some more mixed, some more broken rubber bands, and S-clips and C-clips, um, navy blue, orange, and silver. Then right here, I have some more neon green, then I have two bracelets, and I'll show you guys. This one um, is a little bit different than the triple single. Um, when you see how it holds it together, it's kind of put on weird. I just thought I'd do experiments. Then I just have a double. These are the bracelets I've made today. So this is what's in this case. <laughs> And I actually sorted that out today. I just keep it. Okay. My actual case, this is my main case. These two cases were $12. That case I found in my house and my mom gave it to me. It's really a bead case, but it can be used for rainbow loom. So as you can see, I have another rainbow loom. And so if you want to see both together, that's fine. Just to make sure. <laughs> So right here I have red fuchsia, neon orange, um, lime green, yellow, neon green, ocean blue. Then right here, I, I hold my C-clips and S-clips. I like to keep space for my rubber bands. I should probably put it right here. But I like, like I see some people when they have this case, they have the C-clips. Like in here without the rubber bands, but I just like... Keeping them there. Then I have purple, and it's like, it's not a normal rubber band, mainly like the glow, but glow in the dark, but yeah. Then I have glow in the dark, white, and then I have teal, and then I have a crocheting hook that my um, friend gave me, because that's when my rainbow limb hook broke. And it's really small. It's Six six point wait sixty five millimeters. So that's pretty small, and it can cut you like I don't know, but okay, it definitely can help. Then I have all my charms. Um, I'm just going to show you some. I have a cupcake, a penguin, a loved one, 
some butterflies, a star, peace sign. So that's what I have in this case. If you want to see where I store my rubber bands and all, this is where I store them. I take my first case, this is where I keep them, and put them here. Sorry about that noise. Then I take my next case and put it in. Then I take my next case and put it on top. Then I take my rainbow loom and my hook and put it on this. I have my mixed packet of rubber bands, some storage, my rainbow loom creation, then some of the bracelets over here I keep. And I have a heart and I was going to put it on here, but I haven't yet. <laughs> then I just shut it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. See you later. Bye!